Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here this evening with another great implant case. This one actually has been placed in the mouth uh, at least a year now, but I, I managed to uh, to find the old model work and I wanted to uh, be able to discuss the actual assembly and basically foolproofing and bulletproofing this case with a technique that I've been very accustomed to and I've discussed on other videos with you. So let's let's get right to what um, what I'm showing you here. You're looking at a Strauman combination case. Kind of difficult to understand at first but uh, when you've got a link uh, implants together to make a bridge um, you've got to have a method of, of linking them not only in the mouth but also in the analog. So what I've done with this case is in the mouth here on the model, I removed the soft tissue, gum tissue, and I removed the um, I removed that because I want to show you how this all looks. And and let me do this first. Let me move this aside. I'm going to go ahead and undo this segment. Most of you know that this uh, this segment. Many times we call it an index uh, in the mouth. I prefer to do this because taking the impression in an open tray and getting a fantastic result and a fantastic fit where you don't have to go through try-ins is, is what it's all about. So I, um, I'm just undoing. This is the actual impression copings as I took them out of the um, the impression and I want to show you how perfect this fit is still you know a year later and I decided to pull it out of the impression literally just pulled it right out of the impression so here's the uh, the apparatus okay as I call it the assembly there your um, tissue level and to well more, more or less that we see that in the bicuspid region now so tissue level uh, analogs tissue level impression copings this is the newer bone level implant that was placed a little further posterior in this case okay so here's a segment now I need you to just take a look at this and uh, just to show you it was it used to be in this impression all right this is where I cut out for the uh, the open tray impression copings this is where I actually I took a scalpel and dug it out so I dug this out of this impression it's kind of like this okay and the material is this so that's all the material that I dug out of there and you know manipulating this and then literally just taking my hand and just pulling it out of there tearing it out of there and then s saying to myself well will this ever even fit the model again okay well scenes believing so I put all the pieces together and I played and played and played around with it and then lo and behold it just dropped in no rocking still fits the same way on the model tighten it all down and uh, from what I understand even with the all on fours out there that labs want to give you some type of try-in jig if you do it this way it's no mess it's easy to do in the mouth I have other videos that show you exactly how to do this in the mouth and it goes through what to buy how to how to assemble it um, let's blow this up all right so you can actually see that there's absolutely no seam whatsoever on any of these implants and everything just bottom out perfectly again you know a year or two later here I am with the case and it's as rigid and, and rock solid as the day I, I assembled it so stability is key now I want to show you one more thing I have another case that I've been working on it's and it's called printing these patterns that are made in wax from a lab that I use up in uh, up in uh, Massachusetts they actually a computer scans the dye and and not only the dye work but it also scans the um, the solid model and the working model and once all this gets scanned then 
it asks the computer, it says, okay, you know, with the anatomy that we put in, let's let's gonna go ahead and and print. It's a process you should Google printing in dentistry. It's a it's actually a wax pattern that's actually made by a printing process. I'm not gonna discuss that with you. I'd rather you guys go ahead and and Google that entire process, but it's not like you're placing a wax spatula or dipping um, dipping things onto a die, as we used to, you know, call the dipping process. Um, I think that was started by Bell de Saint Clair. This is a a company that I use out of um, out of uh, Massachusetts. Now, if you look real close, you're going to see that there's absolutely no space, no dead space between this pattern and that of the um, of the die itself so you're, you're actually seeing an amazing adaptability now what you're also seeing is how the technician cut away the margin and um, leaving that for the only thing that he would he or she would be doing in the lab is is adapting wax to the margin and finishing the case the fit on these cases are absolutely textbook um, even under 20 power, you can't tell uh, any seam, any opening anywhere. It's just amazing. You talk about technology here. So this is just a throwaway, just to show you a little donut hole here um, of how well this thing seats, I mean, without any rocking whatsoever. How many times have we placed wax on a die, took it off the die, and then had to reseal it, and knowing that there's a little bit of play after it's casted, these things are invested, they're pressed, they're amazing. It's, it is uh, by far the, the elite, I want to say, of technology, in, in my opinion, when it comes to pressing ceramics. Um, all right, so little tips about this new printing wax pattern phenomena that's going on. And if you need any more information about it, feel free to contact me um, uh, at... Uh, my office here you can you, you know you get my number and just call me here or you can send me a note uh, I get about four to five comments every four to five I want to say maybe six days uh, someone's always asking a, a question so I really appreciate um, also all the subscriptions that you guys have been coming in and, and being so kind to subscribe to my my channel um, I wish you well and I appreciate uh, your patroness and and also uh, checking us out here try to get you another one out uh, soon uh, that will talk about more about Emacs and some multi-unit cases that we're now doing with porcelain process now to uh, or, or bonded to uh, titanium and and some of them are screwy tank cases all right take care have a good evening out there and uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo we'll catch you on the next video clip Take care and thanks for watching.